In this video, we will learn about circle seeding. Circle seeding is used when a competition has both preliminary heats and finals. Circle seeding splits up the fastest swimmers into different heats and allows slower swimmers to race those faster swimmers. In this example, we have eight swimmers in an eight lane pool in an event seated slowest to fastest. Because we only have eight swimmers, we only need the one heat. Once again, arrange your swimmer cards with the fastest swimmers on the top. We begin by making sure that lane one is on the right hand side of the pool when facing the pool at the start end. You place your fastest swimmer in lane four in an eight lane pool. You would then place your second fastest swimmer on the left of that faster swimmer. This would be in lane five. The third fastest swimmer would then go on the right of the faster swimmer in lane three and you would keep on alternating left and right until the heat is full. In this instance, the prelims heat should go directly to finals, seeing as there are only eight swimmers. The meat package will indicate if the prelims should go directly to finals or if swimmers are allowed to swim both in prelims and in finals. This is also how we would seed a final event. This next seating rule is for events having 9 to 16 swimmers in an 8 lane pool seated slowest to fastest. SW 3.1.1.2 If you have two heats, the fastest swimmer shall be seated in the second heat, the next fastest in the first heat, the next fastest in the second heat, the next in the first heat, etc. In the example, we have 16 swimmers. Arrange the entry cards with the faster swimmers on the top. You begin by placing the swimmer, the fastest swimmer in lane four of the second heat. Then you place your second fastest in heat one, lane four. You see that instead of rows, we work in columns, or as some like to call it, line seating. You then move to the left of the fastest swimmers and place your third fastest in heat two, lane five. Your fourth fastest swimmers would go into heat one, lane five. You then move to the right of the faster swimmers in lane three and you see your next two swimmers beginning with heat two and then heat one. Continue this line seating alternating left and right until all lanes are full. This is how a semi-final event would be seated. Notice that the 13th place swimmer is racing the fastest swimmer. In a time final seating, the top eight swimmers would race each other, but this gives an opportunity for the 13th place swimmer to race the top swimmer. In this next seating rule, we have 24 swimmers in an eight lane pool, seated slowest to fastest. SW 3.1.1.3, if three heats, the fastest swimmer shall be placed in the third heat, the next fastest in the second heat, the next fastest in the first heat, etc. So you're going to need three heats. Make sure to arrange your swimmer cards with the fastest on the top. Follow the same line seating that we previously did, but this time use three heats. Begin with lane four. The fastest three swimmers are seated, beginning with heat three, lane four, heat two, lane four, and then finally heat one, lane four. Move to the left in lane five and seed the next three fastest swimmers in heats three, two, and one. Move to the right of the fastest swimmer to lane three and see the next three fastest swimmers into heats three, two, and one. Continue alternating left and right until all swimmers are seated. What happens if you have more than three heats?
In this example, we have 35 swimmers in an eight lane pool in a prelims event seated slowest to fastest. You will need five heats here to accommodate these 35 swimmers. Make sure to arrange your swimmer cards with the fastest swimmer on the top. The seating rule SW 3.1.1.4, if four or more heats, the last three heats of the event shall be seated in accordance with SW 3.1.1.3. The heat preceding the last three heats shall consist of the next fastest swimmers. Lanes shall be assigned in ascending order of submitted times within each heat, in accordance with the pattern outlined in SW 3.1.2. So we seed the last three heats, heats 3, 4, and 5, like we did in the previous example, beginning with heat 5, lane 4. Once the three heats are full, we then seed the remaining swimmers according to SW 3.1.2. The next eight swimmers here are seated in heat two, beginning in lane four. Then we move to the left and place the next swimmer in lane five. We move to the right and place the next swimmer in lane three. And we keep following this seating until all swimmers are seated. Only the last three heats are circle seated, as you can see here in this seating example. In 400, 800, and 1500 meter events, only the last two heats are circle seated. Generally, you only see it in the 400 as the 800 and 1500 are, are only swum as prelims and finals at World Championship or Olympic Games. They're usually seated fastest to slowest senior seated, so that means this, there's time final seated. Once again, this is all of this seating is all done using the swimming software HiTech or Splash if you're in Quebec, but it's important for officials to understand how this seating works.